Today, I will show you how to crochet warm hat with cable stitch pattern. The base of this pattern is front post and back post double crochet stitches. This hat made in Aran technique or Aran crochet. Also, I will show you how to crochet the crown for this hat. Let's get started crocheting. For work you need a ball of yarn and a crochet hook. Begin the work by making a chain of 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and so on till you will get 80 chains in the foundation chain. You should make the foundation chain loosely. I made 80 chains and join the chain in the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. Before you will make a slip stitch, please check that it won't be twisted. The ring is ready. Begin the first round. I will begin from brim part for this chain 3 to bring up the yarn. And double crochet into the each stitch of the foundation chain. Like this. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete this round. Insert the hook into the third chain stitch in the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. Round one is made. Let's start round two. For this back post single crochet, then chain two to bring up the yarn, make front post double crochet around the next stitch, then back post double crochet around the next stitch. Then front post double crochet around the next stitch. Then back post double crochet around the next stitch. Front post double crochet around the next stitch. Back post double crochet around the next stitch. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete this round together. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch in the beginning of the round by working a slip stitch. Round 2 is ready. Begin round 3. For this back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn. Then front post double crochet, back post double crochet, front post double crochet, and back post double crochet around the next stitch.
continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete this round together. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch in the beginning of the round by working a slip stitch. We did first, second, and began the third one. In total, it should be five of them. You should make two more rounds as we did in the tutorial. We did five rounds of the brim part. Let's count one, two, three, four, five. For this, chain three to bring up the yarn. Then double crochet into the same stitch that we have just worked it into. Then double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet through the next stitch. And double crochet into the same stitch one more time. Double crochet through the next stitch. And double crochet twice through the next stitch. Then double crochet. I will alternate till the end of this round. I'm about to complete this round. Insert the hook into the third chain stitch in the beginning of the round by working a slip stitch. Let's begin the first round of the main pattern. Back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn, make back post double crochet, Yarn over twice, we skip one, two, three, four, and front post treble crochet stitches around the fifth stitch. Make the second one around the next stitch, the third one around the next stitch, and the fourth one around the next stitch. In total, it should be four front post treble crochet stitches. Work with the stitches that were skipped. Make four front post treble crochet stitches. Make the first one. Two. Three, four, two back post double crochet stitches, one and two. Then I will be making the same cable stitch pattern. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete the first round of the main pattern. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch at the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Let's begin the second round of the main pattern. Back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn. Back post double crochet around the next stitch. A 
8 front post double crochet stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 well done then two back pose double crochet one and two then eight front pose double crochet stitches and so on keep working in this way till the end of this round let's complete round two of the main pattern insert the hook into the second chain stitch at the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch round is made the report consists of two rounds one two you should repeat as many times as you need as you can see i have done as many times as i needed let's measure it it is 15 centimeters 5 millimeters it is enough for me let's begin the crown this is first round of the crown back post single crochet chain two to bring up the yarn make back post double crochet As you can see in the previous round I did front post and back post double crochet stitches. Make front post double crochet two together. Make the first one not finish. Make the second one not finish. And pull through all loops on the hook front post double crochet two together make the first one make the second one and pull through all loops on the hook make front post double crochet two together make the first one make the second one and pull through all loops on the hook and front post double crochet two together last time first one Make the second one and pull through all loops on the hook. Two back post double crochet in the round. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about complete round one of the crown. Work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round. Round 1 is made. Begin round 2 of the crown. Back post single crochet. Chain 2 to bring up the yarn. back post double crochet now I'm making cable stitch pattern yarn over the hook we skip one two and front post double crochet around the third stitch and front post double crochet around the next stitch in total it should be two of them work with stitches that were skipped front post 
double crochet around the stitch and make the second front post double crochet two back post double crochet Here how it looks. Continue working this way till the end of this round. Let's complete round 2 of the crown. Work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch at the beginning of this round. Begin round 3 of the crown. Back post single crochet chain 2 to bring up the yarn and back post double crochet make front post double crochet stitches 1 and 2 3 and 4 2 back post double crochet then 4 front post double crochet and so on keep working in this way till the end of this round Let's complete round 3 of the crown, work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch at the beginning of this round. Let's begin round 4. Back post, single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn, back post, double crochet, then Front post double crochet two together. First one, make the second one and pull through. Front post double crochet two together. Two back post double crochet. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete round 4 of the crown. Work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch at the beginning of this round. Round is made. Let's begin round 5. Back post single crochet. Chain 2 to bring up the yarn. Back post double crochet. We skip the first stitch, make front post double crochet around the second stitch. And front post double crochet around the stitch that was skipped. Two back post double crochet. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. Here how it looks so far. I'm about complete round 5 of the crown. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch at the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Round is made. Begin round 6 of the crown. 
back post single crochet chain to bring up the yarn back post double crochet front post double crochet around the next stitch and front post double crochet around the next stitch back post double crochet two together make the first one make the second one and pull through all loops on the hook continue working in this way till the end of this round Let's complete round 6 of the crown. Work a slip stitch into the back post double crochet of this round. Round 6 is made. Let's begin round 7. Back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn. Make front post double crochet not finish. Then the second front post double crochet not finish. And back post double crochet not finish and pull through all loops on the hook. Let's repeat again. Front post double crochet not finish. Make the second front post double crochet not finish, back post double crochet not finish, and pull through all loops on the hook. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about complete round 7 of the crown. Here how it looks. Make front post not to finish, make the second front post not finish. Then insert the hook into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round. And pull through all loops on the hook. Round is made. Let's begin the last round of the crown. Insert the hook around the front post double crochet stitches. Make front post single crochet. Chain to bring up the yarn. Insert the hook around the front post double crochet by making front post double crochet. Make front post double crochet around the front post double crochet stitches of the previous round. Make front post double crochet not finish. Make the second front post double crochet not finish. Pull through all loops on the hook. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. You should make front post double crochet two together till the end of this round. Let's complete the last round of the crown. Insert the hook into the top of the stitch by working a slip stitch. Round is made and we can cut off the yarn. Then I will sew this hole.
This is back side of the head. Now I show you how to sew this hole. Take the thread through the needle and with the needle go through the stitch. With the needle go through the stitch. With the needle go through the stitch. You can sew one round or two rounds. I will sew two rounds. The crown is made. Now here how it looks. As you can see, we save the main pattern on the crown. Now I will crochet the trim around the brim part. Take the brim part. Make a very single crochet around the foundation chain. Take the brim part, insert the hook into the any stitch. Take the working yarn, pull it through. Make a chain and make reverse single crochet into the each chain stitch of the foundation chain. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about complete around of the trim. Make the last reverse single crochet. Remove the hook, insert it into the first reverse single crochet, take the working loop, pull it through. Round is made. And the head is ready. The trim is ready. We have done the beautiful cable stitch pattern head. Let's measure it. The height is 21 centimeters. This head is perfect for 52 to 54 centimeters of head circumference. Today we have learned how to crochet beautiful warm head with cable stitch pattern. Also, I showed you how to crochet the crown for this head. Thanks for watching.